Okay, welcome to video number two. And this is where I'll focus on the next section of the unit site and how to navigate most effectively for you. Okay, so I've already covered in um, video one, which you should have watched previously to this, around announcements, the unit plan, teaching team, and about the unit. In this video, I'm going to cover workshop one and pre-departure. Okay, so this area is for all students. It doesn't matter which country you're going to, you will need to cover what I've suggested in video one, as well as in this video, workshop one and pre-departure. And what that means is that you will need to go into the Blackboard unit site and have a detailed look at what's expected and what the learning activities are here, and you need to actively be involved in making sure you cover everything. So when you go to workshop one, you'll come here and you'll see a generic agenda, which from time to time we will change, but normally we will um, give you an agenda specific to your destination country. So for example, if you're going to China, you'll find that there, a specific agenda for your particular cohort will be placed into your area in the Blackboard unit site, which I'll explain in the third video. So here, um, we, norm we always have workshop one and it's an accessible item which means that I will be attending the workshop and I'll be observing you and seeing how you interact with your peers and also with us as the lecturers of the unit, um, making sure that you're actively involved and it's worth 5% of your uh, total mark. So we normally start around 10 and we normally hopefully finish around no later than 4, sometimes we can finish earlier which would be great but it really depends on how we go. Uh, some students have said, suggested that we should have a two-day workshop, that having it in the one day is um, problematic. Uh, however, I don't know about that. It'll be interesting to get feedback from, from, from you to see how, how you've gone with a whole day. A lot of students want to get it over and done with in the whole day and don't really want to spend a two-day workshop. So we've tried to be very selective in the topics that we're going to be covering in the workshop. Um, you'll, we'll always cover the unit expectations, the assessment procedures, and, and most importantly, reflective practice is a key um, assessment strategy for this unit that you really need to come to terms with and understand to effectively complete your assessment. There'll be intercultural leadership. Um, sometimes we have a guest speaker, uh, but intercultural awareness is really important. And obviously for, for this particular unit, employability, employability and global citizenship. Um, so they, they're the core topics that will always be covered in a pre-departure workshop. Um, now, I've also put here which unit learning outcome will be measured and assessed when it comes to the workshop one, as well as workshop two when you come back from your in-country experience. And I've um, explained a bit of detail here. Um, there's also some resources around the work skills checklist, which is really important for employability and global citizenship. As, we're, as we know, society is changing and we're becoming a very global um, community and we're getting jobs all over the place. So that's an important resource to have a look at. Uh, another area which is really important and you, and you complete this prior to coming to the pre-departure workshop is your learning activity surveys. And they're all listed here. I've, I've put the title of the survey, when to complete it the first time, the survey link, and when to complete it a second time. Because some most, well you have to, you know, to get the best out of this learning activity, it's really good to complete the surveys pre and post. And I've um, given you the survey links. I've also given you information on how to get your results and what will happen once you've done the surveys. So some of these surveys need to be need to happen prior to workshop one. Some of these surveys need to occur during your in-country experience. And some of these surveys need to happen to prior to workshop one, like I suggested, but then also happen in workshop two when you come back. So you just really need to uh, read that the information is there. Let me know if anything isn't clear and I'm happy to um, change that for you. I've also put um, three set readings which are aligned with the surveys and, and why you're doing them and how you can use the results to measure what's going on in your own life prior to you having this experience in, a, in an overseas country and then when you're returning and how you can use those results to, to help you with your reflective practice assessment and also assessment three. Another area that you'll need to do before the pre-departure workshop is your pre-departure online module, which is delivered by Study Abroad. This is part of our risk management. It's a hurdle requirement. If you do not complete this online module, you will not be able to board the plane. 
I've completed it myself, so I've had a look at the module. It's really easy. It's easy to go through. I mean, it's not easy as in, you know, um, will I get it wrong or right? That's entirely up to you as an individual. Um, but what I mean is it was it's easy to navigate. It's quite easy to get through. It's not time consuming. But like I said, it's a prerequisite for you passing this unit. So please um, make sure you do the pre-departure online module as soon as possible uh, prior to your workshop one, as well as the learning surveys. Okay, so the next part I'm going to co cover is the pre-departure section. And like I've said from the beginning, this is for all students. Please don't ignore um, the rest of the unit site. It's going to be very important for you to, to do well in this unit. And I'll be explaining in further videos when um, you have your own areas that you can go into according to your country destination. So as you can see, each section of the Blackboard site is set up very similar. So you become familiar with the style that I've created here. And I always cover, uh, I always put what I'm going to be covering um, in point format, which are like titles, and then what's next, or so what you can expect to happen next. Remember to always scroll to the bottom, otherwise you will miss out on important information and resources. So I have an introduction to the to the um, pre-departure section here. I also have given you some resources to have a look at regarding the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, which will be really important to find out um, information concerning the country you're visiting. And also an employability graduate website, which has um, got a game there, which I highly recommend having a look and playing with. And I've also um, audio recorded a, a welcome to um, to this unit and, and sort of just covered exactly my expectations of what I'm expecting from you and, and what you can expect as well. I've also given some examples of um, students who have gone on industry study tours from other universities uh, just to give you, um, and also from Swinburne, just to give you a bit of familiarity around experiences. Um, there's many students that have never um, travel before and that can be quite daunting so I've, I've put that there for you. Again I've linked the self-awareness surveys for learning because you really do need to complete them before your pre-departure. Another example of a student who um, survived the Japanese, sorry, the, uh, the tsunami in Japan in 2011 and, why she, and this occurred while she was on an, um, an industry study tour so I've put that there for your reference. We also have a Swinburne app that can be downloaded onto your i onto your iPhone. Um, I've given you the steps outline on how to access this. This is also a learning activity, um, and students find this a good way to remain focused and engaged in the unit. I release questions on a Monday and a Wednesday. Some are worth more than others, and you get rewarded for if you're quick, if you answer it. It's normally on a timer. Um, and everything, um, all the questions I ask are related to this unit site and the information is here and the answers are here. So it kind of quizzes you on how familiar you are with um, what's going on in this unit site. I've also put some other resources here, such as Going Global, which every Swinburne University student has free access to. This is a great way to find out about employment, um, career planning, employability, skill development, and also um, has information on particular countries that you might be visiting. So I also recommend having a look at that as well. So like I've suggested before, don't forget to scroll right down to the bottom because I would it would be horrible for you to miss out on important information. So in this video, I've covered the sections of workshop one and pre-departure. In the next video, I'm going to be covering in-country and your specific area depending on your destination.